Hey, this is Bruce Cook. This is going to be just a little update what I got going on here in my pepper garden. So, um, I still got all the pepper plants in the center. I'm working on hardening them off right now. We haven't had uh, any freezing cold nights here in about a week or more. So, I have not had to use this uh, frost protection blanket, this uh, blanket brand frost protection blanket. So, i just been using my shade cloth and... Uh, I am today for the first time, uh, uh, like for about almost a whole week when the sun's been out, I've had this, I started off with two layers over the thing because one layer wasn't enough. They were still uh, depressing the leaves on this. So I went to two layers and it worked. And then I dropped down to one layer um, like three days ago. Uh, it has been raining out quite a bit here uh, in Georgia. So we've had some storms uh, going over um, Georgia and the states around us. So. I guess there was a tornado, um, I can't remember, it was Mississippi or something, and the uh, the storm ended up going over us as well, and we got a lot of rain. But anyways, um, so um, now for the first time, I'm uh, testing these plants out, having them in direct sunlight, and they've been doing good so far today. Um, this, it hasn't been raining since uh, early this morning, well, since like about 11 o'clock today. And my plants have been exposed to direct sunlight, and it has not bothered them one bit. But it is only like in the 70s right now. So um, we'll see how they react when uh, the temperatures go higher, because we are supposed to get the 80s here soon. But uh, I have uh, so uh, lots of plants that are shedding um, old bad leaves um, from uh, when they were in my bedroom. Leaves that were attacked by uh, aphids and stuff. So all those bad leaves have been dropping off. I've been trying to pick them out of the uh, plant containers as often as uh, I could find them. So that way I know, you know, how fast the leaves are falling off these things and monitoring, you know, what leaves are falling off. But so far it's just been the bad leaves, like uh, uh, burned looking leaves, leaves full of holes and stuff. But the uh, plants are growing. I mean, I've had to, uh, the plants love the rainwater. They always uh, get a growth, um, growth spurt every time... Uh, it rains so but uh, I've been putting uh, more string on my plants so as they're getting taller you know I'll tie them to the uh, the top of the plants to these plant stakes just to guarantee that they're gonna grow straight up and then uh, you can see my uh, new plants all the ones that are in these one gallon containers they are doing really great they seem to be taking to uh, being transplanted and put outdoors pretty well so let's see yeah, going on see these ones look pretty healthy the newer ones so um and i do have uh, a couple of plants that lost all their leaves like i got this on this i think this is a prima tally. it's uh growing in new leaves at the bottom so i'm gonna let that plant uh recover and then uh, i have i know there was a red scotch bonnet plant over there over here it was looking pitiful a couple of them yeah we got this one down here but uh I'm giving all these plants a chance. See, they're, uh, they got little baby leaves growing in at the bottom. Um, same with this. I really can't care too much right now that a lot of my plants are shedding their leaves because I got a really early start. So my plants are already uh, old and growing uh, bigger than uh, they would be if I had waited until January to sow the seeds. So I'm fine with that. So the plants will just be big and uh, bald, I guess, and they'll just uh, grow in new leaves. Got that one, that one, and uh, I'm pretty sure all these leaves are going to shed. You can see they're in not so good condition. Uh, I do have calcium nitrate in the soil of every one of these plants. Uh, I mentioned in one of my previous videos that uh, the calcium nitrate did a good job of uh, boosting the plant's immune systems. Uh, all of my plants, the very first season I uh, started growing pepper plants, they were the healthiest season of plants I've ever had. <laughs> um, the 2022, uh, 21 season, 2022 season, the, uh, I didn't have calcium nitrate. I was on such a strict budget because of a lot of things that was going on in my life. And, uh, I mean, the plants were, uh, periodically getting depressed from like disease. Uh, like the, a lot of leaves would start, uh, turning nasty and falling off. And then, but that first season, that was like the only thing I'd really did different. Uh, between the three seasons I've grown these so far was I just didn't have calcium nitrate in the soil. Now that's what I learned to do from certain uh, uh, gardeners, pepper growers. Um, when I looked up uh, calcium nitrate videos, they'd put it in the soil. Now 
the rusty garden does have a video um he's the one i got uh i think it's gary um he has a video showing how to use the calcium nitrate but he sprays them uh you know he has it uh diluted in water and then sprays them on the leaves i that was the first thing i did when i got that calcium nitrate that first season and it messed my leaves up and that was when i had the leaves uh, indoors and uh like all the leaves looked like they were burned and white and everything so i am not daring to do that with these plants i just put it in the soil like i did the first season so i mean i started out spraying on leaves that didn't work out but then when i transplanted them and waited a few days and put it in the soil um i got you know good results along with everything else i was doing with them um you've probably seen in the uh, view of the camera i do have uh, my propagation unit outside so uh i just have i'm gonna be uh i'm germinating several more seeds in there right now um i do have all of my indoor growth equipment shut down for the season um uh, i don't really want to have to bother with uh doing that stuff inside in my bedroom anymore and plus that tax onto the utility bill running heating mats and lights and all that stuff and fans so uh, i'm gonna do this out here i just have to be more vigilant you can probably see uh I i've had this out here even uh through the past few days of rain but i had the towel directly on top of it to help uh hold the uh the top down and uh i had a grocery uh or a garbage bag that i cut to be really long i had that over top so i didn't have to worry about rainwater uh going through these little vents on the top i just have to be vigilant and make sure the uh, soil doesn't dry out um the seedling starting soil uh in there and i have i think eight different varieties of uh seeds in there i got more chocolate primatelles uh i think i had some more red primatelles um i think i have actually you know what i just take the lid off we can see for ourselves okay so i do have uh the lid that came with uh so i'm using different um uh what do you call it units or whatever these unit tray things um just my uh the first one i was using i finally scrapped it um last year i'm using these and i'm using the uh, short lid i just have my big one on top of that just to keep it held down but anyways so oh here we go we got carolina reapers i have like two seeds per uh unit Carolina Reapers, Purple Ghosts, Dragon's Breath, Red Ghosts, uh, Chocolate Mugger Scorpion, Yellow Mugger Scorpion, Chocolate Primatelli, and Yellow Ghost. So I guess I didn't have any more Red Primatellis in there. It's no big deal. I got plenty of uh, Red Primatelli plants out here. But, yeah, I'm just making sure I have uh, always have a little bit of water in the uh, tray underneath. So that way when this heats up or gets real warm, the water will just evaporate and uh, come up through the soil. Because um, I learned, uh, even with the uh, seedlings, if the um, roots of the seedlings are being fed from underneath, it helps a lot more than if you have if you're just spraying water over the top of them. It helps the uh, the roots uh, want to grow, so they'll just keep on growing as uh, as they absorb the uh, water that's in the soil underneath them. And then when the water gets dry, the root will uh, uh, start growing faster. So it's just like with these plants, it's always when you're doing a double cup method and you're feeding uh, from below, uh, you just want the uh, water and plant food uh, underneath the first cup uh, and not uh, drawing up into the soil. And the plants will grow a lot quicker that way. That's what I did uh, with all these seeds that grew these plants uh, when I had them in here. Uh, I was just making sure um, the tray underneath had uh, a little bit of water in it at all times and it got these plants growing quick i mean if you've seen my videos from when i was germinating the seeds for all these and they turned into seedlings i mean you've seen how good they looked but yeah uh once this uh, towel is a little bit drier i'll be putting it back on here and then sticking the uh, bag on top of that and then when uh, seedlings start popping up over there then we'll be doing some different things but anyways i just want to make a video uh I, it's my day off. I don't hardly got anything left to do at home, and it's only like 3 p.m. So I already got my yard work and everything done for the day. And I just thought I'd share an update since I did have something new going on. So um, anyways, hope you enjoyed the video, and I will catch you in the next one.